What we've got going on, it's a combination of um, bacterial communication data, um, bacterial communicating all the time, they're sending out signals to each other. We kind of tend to think of our communications networks, the internet, um, Bluetooth data, things like that, that, also airborne communication in a way, as being very dense and very complex. But what's going on at a microbiological level is much more intense. But what we were interested in doing is kind of combining the bacterial communication with with our kind of digital communications technology and what we've done is created a kind of new artificial life form based on this. This element picks up um, Bluetooth data in the environment so people's mobile phones, laptops, all of those kinds of things which uh, are continually speaking to each other which people don't generally realise. Basically the simulation is uh, based on kind of like game of life which mimics um, say a um, life form or looks like a life form. So it uh, behaves like there is some life, some movement in it and uh, basically every pixel on the screen is dead or alive based on the number of pixels dead or alive around him or it actually. It's kind of about raising awareness of these kind of interesting things that are happening and also the, the similarities between bacteria and the way that communicates and the internet and packet data and things like that.